Good morning, everybody. Steps on Steps Long here, guys. Today is Wednesday morning, and uh, my oh my, guys, we got a uh, crazy day ahead of us. It's not too crazy, honestly, but we are just getting some uh, mowing done today. So this so today's Wednesday. Monday, we actually finally finished up scalping. So you can see we got all these bags I need to dump. Don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow or today, but either way, got a bunch of bags I need to go take to the dump. So today's gonna be a good day, guys. We're gonna have uh, two guys with us, and I know I told you guys in the last video, I didn't really specify into it, but so over spring break, which was two weeks ago from this week, I did have a landscape crew going, so that was real nice. Got a bunch of mulch jobs knocked out and everything. Um, got it, helped me get it caught up and get, it, get a little bit ahead, honestly. And so while they were doing that, I was out just kind of mowing, scalping, uh, doing all the small stuff. That's how uh, a couple weeks ago went. That was really nice because it was the first time in a while where I actually felt like the owner of a company, not the uh, the owner operator of the company. That's, that's my goal. And actually, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but this year I'm gonna have someone running the mow crew. And you guys do know who he is, you've seen him in the past, but he texted me a couple weeks ago, asked if uh, I needed some help. And I was like, dude, come run a mow crew. I'll pay you this much, make it worth your time. And uh, he actually let me know a couple days after that. He said, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So, man, that's awesome. I'm so excited. So that way I can focus more on the landscaping side of the business while uh, they're taking, taking care of the mowing stuff. And like I said, probably gonna be buying a uh, little mini skid steer pretty soon. <clears throat> Either a skid steer or a mini excavator. I haven't decided yet, but you, I can get a lot. You can get these uh, little cheap Chinese ones from auction, maybe five, six grand. And I figure that's a good way to get the foot, get my foot in the door start out with a little small one and if i'm finding that i'm using it on jobs and i'm getting jobs for it and then i can upgrade to a name brand vermeer bobcat ditch witch toro whatever it is um so that's just that's my my short-term plan this year and then uh, so yeah guys that's pretty much an update on everything going on had the crew going and then we're gonna have a mo crew going so i'm real excited for that looking forward to it it's been a couple years since i've had a mo crew so it's gonna be uh be really nice and it's actually someone that I really trust, so he'll make sure the quality will stay up. It's an update, guys. Like I said today, we are just mowing, mowing and going, and we do have one little mulch job to do. You can see, it's like a little four bags of mulch. So it'll be a quick and easy job. And then, yeah, so let's, uh, a, lot of, a lot of these yards are probably gonna be pretty tall because of the first cut of the season, and they're weedy, they're weed yards. So we'll catch you guys at one of the first ones. All right, what's up, guys? So we're at the second yard. Got Jackson with us. Got Fletch with us back there. So you guys have seen this one before. Uh, Jackson and Hector knocked out this flower bed a couple weeks ago and it was pretty hectic. So they did a good job. Looks real good now. But anyway, we're gonna get this one mowed. You see the fescue's coming in real nice. So it's gonna be nice and striped up. Let's get to it. Check it out guys, you see some stripes right there. And then over here, of course, let me take you all over here. Stripes down here. Uh, he did water this last night, so it's a little wet. I'm about to tell him to not water on the nights and mornings that we're coming to mow. But anyway, get finished up here, see you the next one. All right, we're at the next one guys. and. It's pretty tall, you can see. It's definitely grown quite a bit. It's about a foot tall, just all the clover, but it shouldn't be too bad.
gosh, guys, check out this backyard, man. I mean, this stuff's a foot and a half tall. That's crazy, and it's all clover. This is gonna be fun. Let's uh, do the best we can, man. It's not gonna look pretty, but let's do what we can. You can see we got that knocked down quite a bit there's uh quite a bit of grass clippings left but looks good man so a lot of you are probably wondering am i gonna charge extra for that and actually no i'm not because it's my fault because i told her that we would be here two weeks ago and so we are uh here two weeks late so i told her 
regular charge it's my fault because two weeks ago it wasn't even near as bad as this because i drove by and it was barely even grown but my fault i have to hold that l and uh that's what we gotta do guys you gotta take the l's in business sometimes it happens but honor my prices and uh yeah so yeah since the customer asked me to mow it we went ahead and mowed it and i did not charge her extra for it because that's just how i am guys i can't can't do that yeah it took a little bit longer but like i said guys i honor my prices and i told her we'd be here two weeks ago and i dropped the ball on that so make it right get it done and the next one okay so we're at the next one you guys can see this one's tall too all these first mows so these are we're doing the first mows on these properties and uh, these are the ones that don't spray so the no bermuda just straight weeds and uh you can tell it's pretty rough so let's try to get this done this one done it was pretty hectic but now we're heading to the next one which is a little uh shop that we mow so see you there guys we're at this house where we're playing that blue atlas cedar last year looking nice and green but we got trim these boxwoods that hawthorn putting mulch here and then trimming some stuff in the back so let's get to it Got this one done, trimmed up. We planted those boxwoods maybe two years ago, three years ago. So we're, uh, I'm trying to let them grow into a, a hedge and as opposed to four individual boxwoods. That's why they're not trimmed in the middles. But it was good. Got all this done. And then uh, Fletcher and I got stuff done in the backyard while Jackson was up here mulching everything. Fletcher and I got a bunch of stuff trimmed. So we are done here. On to the next one. Next one is uh, the last ones. And it's two little mows, so catch you there. Here at the next two, we got this corner lot right here, and then the neighbor down there. So, first mow, this one's not near as bad as the other ones, but still a little tall. Let's get to it.
All right, you guys can see, got this one all done and it uh, looks good, it was pretty tall. But go to low mode and this little area right here, very muddy, so I had him weedied it. But you can tell, I mean, it's just, my boots just sinking into it. Very muddy, we got some rain the other day, so. Uh, yeah, but no big deal, we're gonna head to the shop now after we finish blowing off here. So we'll uh, catch you guys back at the shop. Back at the shop, you guys just saw, got the trailer all backed in, got everything squared away. And like I said at the beginning, actually, I don't know if I said, but I'm moving into a uh, a 60 foot shop. So this foot, this shop is 30 foot long. I'm moving into a 60 foot one. So it's gonna be double. It's gonna have two doors, one door on either side and uh, gonna give me a lot more space. So I'm very excited for that. I'll probably be doing that on Friday or Saturday. I haven't decided yet, uh, but I've got a lot of, a lot of junk I gotta move whenever I move, I mean, you see all this stuff, especially back here. I'm not looking forward to this, but I think uh, Fletcher's gonna help me with that. So kind of go through everything, get everything sorted. Cause I want to keep the new one a little bit cleaner cause it's like empty right now, real clean. So that's what we're gonna do, that's the plan. But you guys saw, I uh, got all those yards mowed. We did everything, we got the mulch at that one house. And then tomorrow we're gonna be doing landscape jobs. May or may, not, may or may not record. We'll have to see. So far, guys, it's been a pretty good season. We're really excited for the crew leader to get here, and uh, we can start get them mowing so that I can focus on other things in the business. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Like I said, that'll be like in May. Looks like I need to fix my tray. I don't know if you can see that the mesh is like pushed in from the mowers going over them. I need to bang it back out. I really need to put some reinforcement pieces of metal in between each side, in between each of these uh, metal metal posts right there. Just slide, put some metal right there every foot or so, every eight inches, just to reinforce it. I may do that soon. I don't weld. I'll take it somewhere to get welded or hire like a mobile welder. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys saw at that uh, big house, or at the house I mowed with the tall grass, I didn't charge her extra because I told her that we'd be there two weeks ago and I dropped the ball on that. And so that's why I didn't charge extra. Uh, normally I would, but not doing it that time. So that's uh, it's all part of the business, man. Sometimes being business owner, you guys, many clients, as I do, you just kind of forget about things. Just go about our day, man. It only took an extra 10 minutes to cut everything again. So no big deal. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been fun to make, been a eventful day. I got to run to the nursery, grab some things for tomorrow, and then I'm gonna call today. So. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.